Continuing on with our discussion of screws, today we will go over the different types. To start us off, screws can differ based on thread type. There are cortical and cancella screws. Each can come either fully threaded or partially threaded. With cortical screws, the pitch will typically be smaller and the thread diameter will be closer to that of the core diameter. That is to say that with cancella screws, the threads are more prominent for a larger surface area and thus a greater purchase on the bone it is being drilled into. Also, cancella screws will typically have a tapering spiral tip to push the spongy cancellous bone aside to thread its way through. Screws can also vary based on the tip. Self-tapping screws are screws that need to have a drill hole but can tap as they progress. These will have a fluted tip for debris movement. Self-drilling screws, on the other hand, do not need a prior drill hole and can drill and tap as they are screwed in. These will also be fluted but will have a larger cutting edge that provides the drilling function as the screw progresses. A big thing to notice with these is where the threads begin. With the self-tapping, you can see that the thread engagement starts sooner before the small cutting edge of the fluted region engages, whereas with the self-drilling, the large cutting edge engages prior to the threads making it primarily a self-drilling screw. Screws can also either be cannulated or non-cannulated. Cannulation will allow for the screw to be placed over a guide wire. Cannulated screws will have self-drilling and self-tapping tips and are preferred when accurate placement is crucial like when placing a screw near an articular surface, as you can see here. Lastly, for this video, a screw can be locking or non-locking. A locking screw will have threads on the head of the screw, allowing it to lock into a so-called locking plate. That is all for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.